<laughs> How long has it been since you've been on a boat? Years! Fishing trip, yeah! 2013. <laughs> I got 16, guys. We got 20 halibut in two days. And... He really liked Alaska, though. Oh, well, I love it. It's beautiful. He stayed in Vancouver in the winter. Uh-huh. Butch, I'm your skipper. Dawn's the deckhand. We're here to help you out and have a great time today. Now, first of all, the Coast Guard would like us to tell you where the life jackets are. They're right inside the cabin underneath those gray seats in the dinette. Those gray seats lift up. Jackets come out. They go on like a vest and tie and snap up front. Knock on wood, we haven't had to use them before. Knock on wood, we hope we never have them. But they're there, and we like to tell you where they're at. When we get out there and start fishing today, we'll have you put your rods in the water. And we'll have you go so many strips or so many pulls, it all means the same thing, from the reel to the first eye. That's one, two, three, and so on. In fact, the spot you fish by has a number on your pole holder. That's the number that we want you to go. Please go that many. It's very important that you do. Once we get it out there the proper amount of depth, the best way to salmon fish is to put this baby about halfway back in the pole holder like such. Don't worry, it won't fall out. And wait for one to get on there. This is kind of where the whole ball game is won and lost right here. What happens is the salmon a lot of times are coming up feeding on your bait. So your pole is going to look like it has something on there, but it's not quite on there. Don't touch your rod. Don't grab it like this. Don't do anything. Just let it go. And then when that fish finally gets hooked, your pull, your rod will bury, boom, 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 or you hear the deck hammer yourself say, take it. You want to pull it out nice and easy, turn it upside down, and start a crank. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to go yarding it out of the pole holder, and you don't want to pull back on them or set the hook in any way, shape, or form. You'll lose them 99.9% .9 of the time. Reason being, like I said, they're still feeding in the ocean. It's a lot different than when they're up in the rivers. Um, they got soft mouths. Big kings are chewing. Um, jerk it out they'll just let it go and the other reason is is we're going through the water one way that fish is going the other and all that energy meets in the middle it's going to rip that barbless hook right out of his mouth so let that thing bite 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 let it really go down just pull it out and stick it on your arm and start it cranking the other thing we don't need you to do is we don't need the jimmy houston bass busting high tips that makes great tv terrible fishing salmon fishing just pull it out this level right here is absolutely perfect um, if somebody's got a fish on, you're not the person with this fish on, but say the person above you has one on. We don't need the others to reel in in most cases, but we do need you to jump up, grab your rod. Most likely we'll have you hold it up so the person with the fish on can come underneath you, or we'll have you hold it straight down so we can come over the top. This way you're still fishing, and the person with the fish on is working around the boat. If you had a hit that didn't hook up, which is part of fishing, or people are catching fish and you're not, it's a good indication you probably should check your bait. Reel it until you see that plastic thing right on top of the water, five, six feet, feet of line out. Lift that baby up, it's coming to you nice and low. You know if you've got it up here swinging around where that thing can bonk you in the head and the hooks can get you. Just don't panic, just let some line out and get it below your waist. If we're moving, just stick your pole right in the holder and take a wrap or two right around the butt of the rod just like that. Sea sickness I don't think we'll have to worry about today, but if you're not feeling so well, don't go in the cabin and don't go in the bathroom. Stay out here in the fresh air and hopefully everything will pass. If it doesn't pass as easy as we'd like it to, over the rail with it, all right? Uh, just on the downward side, you'll be all right. There is coffee on board. Um, if you want some, go ahead and grab some. There's cups on the side, all right? Let's get out here and go fishing. Yeah.